Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are out to the shop today and today we're going to start working on the wall art project for the garage. So stay tuned. So today I've got Mrs. Old Car Auto Guy here and she's going to be helping us with cleaning up and sanding this front cowl for the old Cordoba. Now, this is just a leftover piece that I had from another car, and in the back of my mind, I had the idea to do this someday, and I, as I said before, with this YouTube channel, what a better way to start a project than to get it on camera. So, we're gonna do a few things by starting off with trying to clean it. This thing has been sitting out behind my garage at home for like 10 years, and we're hoping that this will just clean right up with a soapy water. And we've got some cleaner, a pail of water, and then when we're done, we can give it a good scuffing and maybe put some primer on this today and uh, come back tomorrow and maybe put a coat of paint of some sort on it. So let's get at her. In this little spray jug here, we've got some all-purpose uh, everything cleaner that we use on our cars. And so we're just going to spray this down. And as you've seen, uh, I think most of this dirt is going to come off very easily and then we can get to sanding it. So, let's go. And you can see inside these headlight buckets, there's about 40 years worth of grime stuck in there. So we've got that uh, everything cleaner kind of sprayed on there. We're gonna let it sit just for a few minutes. And then uh, my wife is pretty anxious to uh, do a before and after. So what we'll do is we'll clean one side right over to the center of the hood here and then we'll uh, rinse it off and you can see the difference between uh, the grime and uh, the cleanliness. I like dirt. <laughs> She's a dirty girl. <laughs> That's not going, That no. might stay in there. No. That's coming off real good. Barely any effort. Nope, not at all. So once we get the dirt off there, we do see a few little, I guess that stuff's just extra dirt. And that's a little pit, pitch off the trees back there. Yeah, and that's a little ding. little ding in the paint, but that's all right. This isn't going to be a SEMA show quality paint job. This is going to be wall art that you're going to see from about 15 feet away. <laughs> So that might even come off with the pressure of the hose too. Well, I don't know. This is a little bit. And that's all going to be covered anyways as far as yeah. like your headlight bezels and stuff will go in there. I think a lot of that might be undercoating. Alright, well let's grab the hose and we're just going to spray a little bit of that down. Yep, it's like a night and day difference. Reminds me of uh, Dylan McCool and his uh, pressure washer. He pressure washes everything. Peels all that grime off. So we're gonna continue to uh, wash this thing down and then we'll come back when we're getting ready to start with the sandpaper. Okay, so now that we've got it all uh, washed down and uh, I took the air hose and just kind of cleaned all the grime off of it and tried to dry it up a little bit, we're just going to scuff it up by hand in all the nooks and crannies, like in here because there's so many curves in this area and then down in there. And we'll use the DA on all the flat surfaces. So my wife is going to start using uh, the hand block to sand in through here and I'll grab the DA and we'll get to work on uh, all the flat spots.
So as you can see, what we're trying to do here is there was a piece of pinstriping that wouldn't scrape off because it was on there, well, well, for 40 years probably. And it came up like this and down the end. And uh, we're just having to sand through it all until we get, and you can kind of see that line where it was. On this side, it came off a lot easier. You can't feel a thing. making sure they know that you're wearing the proper attire for doing body work. I got dirt on my pants. So for those of you who don't know, my wife grew up basically in a body shop. Her father was a body man for, what, 50 years? Yeah, you know, started off when he was just young and uh, worked his way into his own business and uh, is now on the verge of retirement himself, but uh, she spent a lot of time being brought up in that body shop. I'd say you got her. Did I get her? Yep. Feels like it. So we are done with sanding anyways. So now what we'll do is we will uh, hose the uh, thing down again and we'll let it dry and then we will come back likely tomorrow and do a uh, coat of primer on it. So we'll see you then. So what we're gonna do now, I decided that I wanted to get this primed up today so that I can come back tomorrow and maybe put a coat of paint on it. So. We've got ourselves some one-step self-etching primer, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna prime the surfaces of this. I'm not bothering to do any body work. Everything seems to be pretty smooth, and I'm not gonna to be too concerned about a chip or a scratch here or there. Anyway, like I said, it's just gonna be hanging on the wall. This is not gonna be a SEMA show or a concourse restoration. So let's get some primer on. So over the years of uh, cleaning cars, of course we've been doing this for, we're into our 11th year now, we've always collected the change, like loose change and stuff that we find in vehicles when we're cleaning them. So we've got two of these jars full of coin. And we've decided that between myself, dad, and my wife, that we are going to guess how much money is in there. So that's, that's where we're at. I guess 275, dad guessed uh, 535. And Sherry Don said 411. So he's going to take it home, get it all counted up. And uh, I'm sure that if uh, I was the closest, he'd probably just take the money out anyway. But <laughs> and say, oh, no, no, no. No money. Can't lie. So, anyways, uh, we're going to find out how much money is in the jars. And she's pretty grody looking. Gross. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are done for the day. We are gonna leave this in primer overnight. I am going to come back tomorrow afternoon and we are gonna start spraying this. Now we're not gonna use spray bomb, we're gonna use the spray gun. And it'll be my very first attempt at spraying with a spray gun. So uh, we've got a color picked out and uh, it's gonna be a surprise on the color that we picked just because it's a, just a can that we had laying around. And hopefully it turns out pretty good with the spray gun, which I think it will, but it's all, my, my own capabilities of using this spray gun for the first time. So uh, as we close out this video, guys, remember Thursday evenings, the live feed, I will put the information down below on which channel it is on this week because I'm recording this on Sunday. And I don't know if this is gonna make it for Thursday's video. It might make it for Thursday's video. So if that's the case, happy Valentine's Day. And we will have something special for you guys tonight at nine o'clock Atlantic time, seven o'clock central. Do the math. You can figure out what time the show is on in your time zone. Also, t-shirts and hoodies are on sale 
at bonfire.com. It is the first link in the description box below. If you guys are looking to help support the channel with a tee or a hoodie, that's the place to get it. Prices are very reasonable and all kinds of sizes and colors. My license plate challenge is still out there. If you guys have extra license plates from your state or neighboring states or from wherever, I am working on a project for my man cave, my garage at home, and I'm hoping that you guys are able to uh, send me some of the spare stuff that you have. If you're in Canada, my address is down below, my Canadian address for right here. And uh, if you're in the US, I've got a US address to save you on postage. Uh, which is also in the description box below and I hope that you guys can send me a little bit of uh, something extra and I'll be sure to give you a shout out when I receive it and make sure that your name goes on that plate so that I remember exactly where it came from. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate that. We are on our way to 600 subscribers and we're going to be there if we're not already by this time the video goes live. Uh, so thank you guys for that and I always say in my videos, Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys, God bless. Let's do it again for part two of painting up the wall art.